Yo, what's up, fam? This is Overtime Tom here, and today we are chilling with Donovan Mitchell. He has a ton of dope things going on right now, but first, I wanna give a big shout out to Body Armor. They set this whole thing up. Thank you, guys. Donovan, what's up? Where are you at, and how's the offseason going? I'm good. You know, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm down in, in Florida right now, getting ready for the season. Uh, I'm just getting ready to get ready to work, uh, or getting ready to start. You know, start the season. Just been working, man. Just you know, nonstop trying to trying to get back to it. For sure, yeah. I'm, the season's coming up real quick. Um, obviously, you had a huge day yesterday. Got the max contract. Um, I saw you celebrating. Jump in the pool. Family's excited. Everyone's hyped. Yeah. Go jump in the pool, Don. Go jump in the pool, Don. Go jump in the pool, Don. <laughs> what's that what's that moment like like when you really finally know that it's done and have you bought anything massive since uh since locking that down i know people are probably curious no no i haven't i've haven't bought anything anything massive yet uh, but <laughs> um it's really just it's for me i look at it you know everybody looks at the number and says wow like you're 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 doing well for yourself whatever but for me it's like you know my sister's good you know, my mom's good. My, mom, my sister's kids are good. My kids are good. You know, that's that's where my mindset was. You work, you work so hard not to just you know put yourself in a position you know to 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 have wealth, but you know generational wealth. And I think that's one thing I'm really blessed to be able to get to this point and do not just for myself, but for my family, you know, and, and for my kids that'll come later. <laughs> Body Armor also just got Trey Young and John Morant joining the family too. And I've been pushing this on body armor. Maybe it'll happen one day. But you guys get in the gym, the three of you, king of the court. Who wins? Me. Sure. You easily. I mean, those guys are young. They're getting they're, just, they're kind of smaller than you. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Even if I, which I don't, I do believe I would win. But even if I didn't, you can't say anybody else as a competitor. You can't. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. No, absolutely. Not the same question. Say them, but I'm also taking that one. Switching gears. There's something going on with number 13 pick. All right, you got drafted 13. Zach Levine did. Devin Booker, we're gonna talk about Tyler Hero in a minute. He did too. What is that like the spot to get picked in now? Yeah, I guess it's it's the lucky number. Uh, I guess um, we have a lot of guys who have been who've done you know really really solid things in our early careers right now. You know, guys who are solid. So for you know, on top of that, Kobe Bryant was picked um, 13th as well. So you know, um, big shoes to fill for all of us. But I think we're all yeah. I think we're all you know happy with where we're at in our careers. And there's definitely more that we all can do. Uh, but I think 13 is a, is, a, is a lucky number for sure. Yeah, and, and I mentioned Tyler Hero, but he went 13 obviously this past year. And, and for you, your rookie year, like you had an amazing rookie year, but I feel like it really, you blew up when you had like that great playoff series also there, right? And he kind of had something similar where like he had a solid fresh, uh, rookie year, but the playoffs down in the bubble, he like exploded. And I was wondering, one, like you got to play against him once uh, during the season, I think. He had a pretty solid game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but did you get a chance to see him? Like, what do you see in his game that like translates so well in the NBA? Why? Why is he? Why did he work so yeah, well? In the I ball? think you know he's his confidence for one. That's a lot of the, that's like a lot a lot of it for guys in the league is confidence. You know, because as a rookie, you come in, you know, you go from watching these guys on TV, you know, you're watching, you know, you're watching these organizations. You now you're playing for them. You're in watching these moments. Now you're in them. You know, it can be it can be a, a big moment for people. You know, and for him, there is no moment that he doesn't run from, you know, and, I, and I, that's what I love about watching this game because he, he's just someone that just seizes the moment, you know, doesn't get too ahead of himself, knows his game, knows what he needs to do, locks in, and he's just a killer, um, and, and he knows it, and he's not afraid to show it, and I think that's that's one thing I really respect about his game, uh, and just his character and his persona, I think, is something that's just his, his aura that he carries himself with is, is really impressive, especially for a rookie, um, and I'm excited to see what he does in, in year two. Yeah, the confidence is unreal. It's almost, it's ridiculous a little bit. Um, we work a lot with Jordan McCabe, who's like Tyler's best friend, and, and he tells us stories about him too, and he's wild. But I think I think he'll keep going. I want to ask you another question about a young guy. Um, LaMelo Ball just got drafted to Charlotte. And it's kind of an interesting situation. It's, it's not that far off from how you went to Utah, where it was like, they have some pieces there, but they haven't been able to put it together. And, and you know, Charlotte more so than Utah, obviously. Utah's had some other, other years, but Lamelo's is going into a situation where he's like the rookie who's supposed to come in and hopefully have a similar role to how you did with Utah, where like kind of take reins of the team and, and kind of change the culture there. I'm curious, like, have you been able to see him play at all? What are your thoughts? And also like some advice for someone like, like him who's going into that situation? Um, 
Well, I mean, I haven't really watched much, you know, besides the highlights you see, you know, on Twitter and Instagram and whatnot. But, but you know, the one thing I will say, you know, you got my former high school teammate, Devontae Graham over there. You got uh, Terry Rozier, you got Lamelo. Uh, you got, they got a great, they got a solid young core. You know, I think the biggest thing for him is just being able to, to come in and listen. You know, the eyes are going to be on him, but, you know, there's things that he's not, just not going to know. You know, and I think being able to listen and, you know, you got the greatest player of all time as your GM, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions. You know, like, that's one thing that I feel like from day one, you should be asking questions every day until he gets sick of you. Um, you know, just to pick his brain, you know, and find a way to be the best player you can be. Because there's going to be expectation, uh, no doubt, for sure. But I think if he just goes in there with an open mind and goes out there and listens, and goes, I'm not saying he won't, but I think for the biggest thing for him, I would say going in just to, to ask and figure out and just enjoy the process. It's not always going to be sunshines and rainbows, though. It's not going to be perfect. But go out there and just, like I said, similar like I said about Tyler, just having that confidence. Um, you know, they're going to be great games. It's going to be bad ones. But moving on to the next one, no matter what, I think it's the biggest thing. Yeah. I forgot you played. That's that's really good advice. I forgot you played Devontae. Is that at Brewster? Yeah, at Brewster. Uh, my junior my junior year. You, him, Jalen LaCuse, he just got traded to the Pacers, but he went there. Terrence Clark's a freshman at Kentucky. He'll be a first round pick this upcoming year. Dwayne Wade's son's there now, so get a good uh, legacy from Brewster. Brewster, shout out to them. Well, th thank you, Donovan. Um, you've been awesome. Shout out to Body Armor again for hooking this up. We, uh, we know you got a lot to do, but we appreciate you stopping by, Spida, and uh, hope to talk again soon. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. What up, what up, what up, what up, OT fam? I know y'all was rocking with the OG Overtime hoodies, so we had to drop more new flavors on y'all. Head to the Overtime shop to peep out the new colorways. Link in description. Also, don't forget to subscribe over here and check out more videos this way. See if you can rock pink better than your boy. Doubt it.